Hello and welcome for the last time from Brussels, from the awards winning event of Euroelectric. It's so interesting, after such amazing event, we are speaking with the guy who is actually behind the event. Christian is a general secretary of Euroelectric. I would like to ask you, Christian, these bullet points. How did you like this event? My quick takeaway from this event is that um, we are facing an unprecedented situation uh, in the energy sector. We've been seeing a need for unprecedented accelerations uh, over the last few years, but the need for a change of pace has just increased and increased and increased and we've now reached a level where we really have to uh, say what are those game changers that can unlock this unprecedented uh, uh, speeding up of, of deployment and change for the better. I think what we've learned in, in this event over the, the last few days is that what we put up there initially as the, the key game changers uh, which are decarbonizing faster, electrifying all we can, um, making sure that investment uh, frameworks and markets are good, uh, reinforcing our grids and uh, engaging with customers, they continue to apply to be really uh, super important uh, game changers, but perhaps the most important one is that we need to end our energy naivety. We have been relying on an unreliable partner for a massive amount of our energy needs and uh, this has to change now and the most important game changer therefore perhaps is in our heads in a new mindset that we need to adopt and we need to adopt it now. I love it so much you know because actually I had some discussions with some leaders here and they always speak transition 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 and actually in our club we said there is no transition it's transformation and maybe actually it's also the feedback after this event. I think it's a good point because transition there's, there's something slow and organized and managed over that it feels to me that we're, that's no longer where we are. We are hitting the perfect storm and by this winter we are going to see challenges and hardship in Europe that we've not experienced before and therefore we need a different mindset, one which is not you know next year or next month or whatever, but year, but, um, right so here, right now and therefore we need to think new. Also, I'm so happy you know because also when I spoke with Bruce about coming to the event for me it was always an issue in the past, yes? How to explain to utilities that it's transformation and not transition? That there's a good reason for that. What we traditionally do is to be a very, very reliable supplier of energy services and therefore changes should ideally not happen so much. The thing is that we're now facing a number of changes that, is, that have been imposed on us from the outside. The very source of our energy security in the past has now become our energy liability number one, that's fossil fuels. So we need to get rid of that at a pace we cannot even imagine and, um, and maybe reality will, will just catch up with us and, and, and do things uh, so fast for us because uh, the Russians will turn off the gas. But, but that's the, f the situation we're facing and then the one we have to deal with. So maybe not just improving the system, but maybe find new ways, new business models. Yes. Transformative change across the board, um, a radically new approach to engaging customers and reducing demand, um, a radical new approach to partnerships to build out grids and renewables, uh, unprecedented electrification, ramp ups of supply chains at a factor three, four, uh, at a pace that is even difficult for the, for the suppliers uh, to stomach. So, uh, Christian, uh, even you look so young, yes, but you are since six years already in the organization. And uh, how do you see the change of the mindset of your members during this period? I think we've all been exposed to a big change of mindset because things have continued to gain pace and the requirement for increases in pace have, have uh, continued to ramp up. We've been working with that mindset change actually since, since I started. Back then it was really about doubling down on decarbonization and now I have to acknowledge that we're really experiencing a new dimension to this where energy independence needs to come into focus. That has some short-term costs and downsides for decarbonization, but it also has extreme amount of clarity to the mission and where we need to go. Thank you so much. Thumbs up for the utilities, for cleantech and for the world's transformation into a positive direction.